Hello everyone, and today we are talking about Caitlyn Jenner and her transformation and what got her there. Her transition throughout life, her transition was a 30-year struggle that lasted through multiple marriages and multiple failed attempts to be accepted. It is important to remind ourselves that the world is changing and it isn't beneficial to discriminate against certain types of people and it may even put your job in jeopardy. From a very young age, she was keen to wear in her mother's garments and loved the way she felt in them. We often don't think about the struggles of the other genders and the journey they take to be accepted, but the people they call family, you could say that it wasn't Caitlin that had paraphilias, but the significant others of hers over the years. Social scripts have seemed to become less effective on people over the years due to the acceptance of multiple gender people and seem to just cause more retaliation and only delays in the inevitable. Since the early 70s, drag has been a taboo in the media and also portrays it as an act of rebellion. Who is to say that this isn't also a reason people of her gender feel the way they do? The different perspectives of the matter tend to point to the same answer, which is what was learned and taught other than born feeling a certain way. But not in all cases. Acceptance can be a hard thing to find when you live amongst reality TV stars and you were famous decades ago and this could also attribute to her actions. Let's talk about her upbringing. When she was young, she did like to wear her mother's garments, and this carried later on to her life, stated in transgender identities, for example, social, psychological, and medical literatures on how individuals come to define themselves as transgender, focus primarily on the internalization of an incongruent gender identity in the childhood, but ignore differences across race. The social learning theory can be attributed to this certain behavior as well. She always identified as woman, but only recently has it been accepted in society. When you come out, it seems to be a very difficult thing to do. She had to do something very difficult that many of us won't ever have to worry about. This can affect many aspects of their lives, which can either be good or bad depending on who is supporting you. And stated in Erickson and Schroff's book, for some unsafe situations, job loss, loss of family security, and loss of housing are realistic possibilities of this. It is important to have a good support system and you surround yourself with accepting people. A lot of her life was struggling with gender identity, but only until recently has it become more accepted in today's social climate. Her first two his first two wives weren't accepting, accepting of it, but it came to fruition. And even in this quote from 2000 states, traditionally, social policy has tended to overlook sexual orientation and gender and to assume a heterosexual male subject. Now, this quote was from 2000, but you can understand 20 years later that it has changed significantly. And, you know, to conclusion, in this presentation, I gave you a glimpse of what process Caitlin had to go through and what it took to get accepted by society. Now, more than ever, transgender people are accepted in society. Just 20 years ago, it would be unspeakable to associate with these types of people. Now it can definitely hurt your career if you were to discriminate against certain people. Social learning theory is an affirmation of how she came up to be and how everything came to come out to be. And on a side note, I would like to bring up, you know, how the addiction to spotlight might come into play. And I mean, give me a break. I know who the Kardashians are and they had a show and for someone with an Olympic medal to live in the shadows of people whose best life achievements are a sex tape or a makeup line, it's, you know, I can really see the just justification of her actions. And thank you for your time. I'm Joel Scanlon. And, um... 
I hope I wasn't too awkward, and I'll see you in the next presentation.